guys, so we're going to do the Kuda software infinite pre-algebra systems of equations by substitutions worksheet. You can find some Kuda software in the pre-algebra section. So it's a solve each system by substitution. And I'll show you how to do that. So system of equations is an equation with two or more variables. So, and they intersect at two lines at one point on the graph. So let's see. Solve each system. We have y equals 7x minus 10 and y equals negative 3. So right now, substitution means plugging in. It's essentially what that means. So since y equals negative 3 and y equals 7x minus 10, we can plug negative 3 for y in the first equation, giving us negative 3 equals 7x minus 10. So we're just plugging it in since y equals negative 3. So now we can solve this equation. Yeah, we already know how to solve equations. Add 10 to both sides and add 10 to both sides, giving it 7 equals 7x. And we get to divide both sides by 7, giving us that x equals 1. And now that this is not a solution, we still need y. But luckily, they already gave y here. So our solution in the xy format is 1, comma, negative 3. That's our solution in number 1. Number 2, you have y equals negative 8, and y equals negative 2x minus 12. So here, same thing. We can plug negative 8 for t negative 2x minus 12 for y. So negative 8 equals negative 2x minus 12. Now we can add 12 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0, and negative 8 plus 12 is 4. Equals negative 2x. Now we can divide both sides by negative 2, giving us x equals 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And so our solution is negative 2 comma negative 8. This point on the graph intersects both lines. That's a solution. This one's a bit different because you don't have a number y equals 6 or something. You have y equals 6x. Same thing, we're essentially plugging it in, but this time it's going to be 6x equals 5x plus 7. Now we can just solve the equation and subtract 5x from both sides. So 5x minus 5x is 0, and 5x minus 6x minus 5x is x. Cf so x equals, and then you have nothing but 7. That's all you have. So that's x equals 7. But now we have to find y. So. Since x equals seven, 7, you can plug x in for y. So y equals 6 times 7. So the solution is 7, 42. I'll stop there for now and join you in the next video.